Hey guys, this is Gurpreet. I'm back with another video. This video we're going to talk about how to generate and update the Apple push notification service. So Apple certificate is the first thing you do before you enroll any Apple devices to Intune. Uh, this is a prereq. It is not required in Android devices or Windows or any other platform. But for Apple, the first thing you have to do is get an Apple push notification service certificate in order to enroll Apple devices. So let's quickly get started. I'm going to go and uh, go to the Intune portal. And by the way, this is the part one of the device enrollment tab. Uh, we're going to have more parts because I cannot uh, cover all in one uh, video. It's quite a long list here. So I'm going to talk about everything in Apple uh, enrollment service in this video. Next video, uh, Android enrollment, Windows and the restrictions, the categories, and other things which are there in these uh, options. So, let's talk about the Apple enrollment service. So, as I mentioned, this is the first step uh, before we do anything on Apple devices. So, let me quickly go and uh, create. So, this is a new tenant altogether. It does not have any Apple certificate on it. So, we're going to create one today. Okay. So, I'm just going to quickly go to agree, and we're going to download the CSR certificate okay so certificate is downloaded and once it is downloaded we're gonna go to the new URL which is the identity.apple.com forward slash put sir so I'm gonna also link this in the uh, description below or how you can do this so I'm gonna quickly sign in so I have created the Apple ID from my own account I'm just quickly gonna put in so it's cloud.etechnical at gmail.com so guys if you wish to uh, send an email anytime to ask anything or for any help you can also go to this uh, email and just shoot me um, a message and we'll be checked from there okay so I'm quickly gonna go I have my password saved already all right so the second thing you get here is the create a certificate so once you click on that it'll ask you to do all this uh, agreement stuff so we just click on accept and I'm just gonna go and choose the file and I click on upload all right so it says you have successfully created a new push certificate with the following information here is the service the corporation so for example if you're maintaining two different MDM solutions so that can be differentiated here and you can just download you see it's valid up to 15 March 2021 so we can go back we can just sign out from here and we just enter the same ID from which it is created one very important thing to note here once this ID is used the next year when you have to upload the certificate you have to use the same ID uh, we cannot change the ID ever if you change the ID otherwise see first of all it will not let you change the ID but in case you decide to change the ID I'm gonna tell you one thing it's very uh, important to keep the ID same because once the ID is changed or the certificate is not updated on time, all the devices will lose connection to Intune and the only way to get them back is to get them re-enrolled. There is no other way. I cannot stress this enough. Uh, you have to keep the ID for specific Apple uh, certificate upload. There is no other thing you should do with this ID. And this ID has to be same when you are going to update the certificate next year. All right. So I'm just going to click and select the certificate and I'm going to click on upload. All right, it says your MDM push notification service was successfully created. I'm going to delete this and just click on it again. All right, now you can see we have the updated certificate here. It says 15. 3 2020 last updated and days until expiration is 365 so it's for whole one year 
and this is the Apple ID. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the only thing, as I mentioned, if you have to take care is that same ID always. All right, now there are other things which comes up when you activate this. You see the bulk enrollment method like the Apple configuration, Apple configurator, enrollment program tokens, and enrollment types. It's in preview, so we don't uh, want to talk about it at the moment. So let me give you a brief what is Apple configurator. So Apple configurator is something which is only available on Mac devices and Mac devices can manually supervise your Apple devices from the Apple configurator program. So it can supervise your iPhone and iPad. I repeat. So the Apple configurator is an application which is available only on Mac devices and Mac devices can via cable supervise your iPhone and iPads. To make it ready okay I'll give you more information on that what are enrollment tokens so the enrollment tokens are uh, let me give you an idea here if I say add so here we're gonna select the token now where this comes from so we have to talk about something which is called device enrollment program which is Apple Dep. so that's available on deploy.apple.com so that's a different link altogether and what is a supervised device let me explain so in Apple, we have two services. One is a normal device and one is a supervised device. So supervised device can be bought as a supervised device from Apple directly or you can have this supervised manually using the Apple configurator. Now it has to be a different topic guys. It is literally uh, a big topic and it requires a separate video altogether. So I think we should stick with it for now. Uh, so this is only for the Apple push notification service in the coming videos we could talk about more about the tap enrollment program i will create a whole new video for that all right so this is it for today uh, this is part one for the enrollment uh, uh, device enrollment tab i'm gonna keep adding more videos thank you for your time have a nice day and please do subscribe thank you